Hi there, welcome to Golf Beginner World. So this situation happens a lot. I, my target is the pin on the right. I have just under 20 yards and the hole is really close to the front of the green. So how would you play the shot? Would you play the ball high with lots of spin and stop and land the ball short before the hole, just before the hole? and see it stop? Is that what you like to visualize and, and, and do? Or uh, would you prefer to hit the ball low and allow the ball to roll up to the, to the hole? Now, when I train my high handicap golfers, short game, and I ask them, I ask them the question, how would you play the shot? I'd say eight out of 10 times, I'd like to see the ball fly high and stop quickly. So that definitely is possible and it looks great, but the problem with that technique is that one either can very easily hit the ball, the ground first, okay, <laughs> the result is really good, but definitely not planned, or even worse, we're trying to get the ball up in the air use a little bit of wrist and then top and we then we top the ball over the green so i'm sure that you are capable of hitting nice little high shots but is it a percentage shot i don't think so so instead of using a sand wedge or a lob wedge take a pitching wedge or even an, a nine iron and hit the ball low on purpose. So if I know that my ball doesn't have to fly high, it takes the pressure off my shoulders and I can, I can perform a, a, a swing without really any hinge of hinging of the wrists. I can keep my hands and club low during the, the downswing. I can transfer my weight slightly. I can turn my hips and come into this nice little end position. The shaft and the left arm form a straight line. Okay, so when you hit the ball <coughs> low, you need to have a landing spot. And my landing spot is about just under two yards before the uh, start of the green. I'm thinking eight o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock four o'clock and I'm thinking really really soft hands and a slow turning of the shoulders and of the stomach. I then allow my hands to come through. I don't hold the club tightly otherwise the leading edge might come into play. So smooth shoulder turn and just let the hands come through. Now I hit the ground first there, but um, nothing happened. The ball, the club still came through because I was really uh, holding the grip lightly. So, but that was a bit far from the hole. Okay, have a look at your landing spot, smooth shoulders, and let the ball roll out to the hole, get in. There we go. So that's a good result and um, I think I could hold a few more using that technique because it's just so safe and I really really encourage you to play the ball low when you don't have a bunk in front of you when the ground's firm it's a lot safer. The sand wedge the high shot is an important uh, shot the pitch but you only need to really do it when the bunker or rough is in front of you. Okay, so I hope that video uh, interested you and I hope that the information will help you the next time you face with this very, very doable task. See you soon again.